Officials in Penticton are preaching safety and preparedness for rock climbers after a daring rescue in a cave on Monday. A 50-year-old woman from the Lower Mainland suffered serious injuries after a fall while she was climbing in a cave at Skaha Bluffs Provincial Park. About 50 rescue personnel from around BC took part in the rescue, which lasted about seven hours. The woman had been hiking in the narrow cave with two other people. It's lucky that all three of them didn't fall. And of course, uh, all we would have had probably was a report of missing persons. And where do you start? Brown says this was the first time Penn Sar has been called to a cave rescue. He said the climbers were likely unfamiliar with the area and weren't equipped with safety gear. I mean, nobody prepares and starts a day off thinking they're going to have an accident. Little things can happen. People can slip in any particular area. Uh, in this area, again, uh, you know, you've got unstable rock, lots of gravel. It's very, very dangerous. Russ Turner has operated Skaha Rock Adventures for 25 years in Penticton and says there is one cave at the Bluffs that he takes groups into. But for safety reasons, he's never taken a group into the cave where the woman fell. As a professional guide, I don't take groups into that just because I realize that if there was ever an accident within that uh, cave system, um, any kind of a rescue it becomes very, very complex. As we learned yesterday, we had to bring professionals in from the, the island who are cave experts. Brown says those climbing at Skaha Bluff should be prepared with the same kind of safety gear that rescue teams would use. They have helmets, they make sure they got the right lighting, they take safety equipment with them, they have a plan. It's just not the kind of thing that people recreate. You have to look at, you're going into a confined space and so many things can happen so quickly. For Castanet News, I'm Colton Davies in Penticton. Thank you.